Yes. Hello to everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 3. So we are here at Tenpenny Tower. I just recently just went ahead and put a bunch of stuff that I had in my inventory away. I think about it, I should probably put a lot of the miscellaneous stuff too. I probably should sell some of these things too. But uh, I'll just put them away for now. I'll, I'll, I'll go sell them later. Um, but I put away a bunch of my weapons, such as like the backwater rifle, the double shotgun, things like that. Um, I don't think I'll need them. Well, they're fun to use when you're in a DLC, but I won't actually probably be using them like seriously throughout most of the game. So, like, combat shotgun does a good enough job and has a higher DPS than, uh, you know, double barrel shotgun and such. So I decided to keep the guns that I probably would use and decided to get rid of the rest. So when we're talking about this though, let's get rid of, like, a uh, carton of cigarettes, cherry bombs, chess boards, um, lunch boxes, pack of cigarettes, things like that. Um... I probably won't be needing almost any of this anymore. But you never know, right? But, uh, scrap metal, I can keep that one. Uh, center module, don't need that. I need the poison glands. No, just get rid of all the extra stuff that I don't release. A lot of that stuff in there is basically just that, no weight, but yeah. But today, what are we going to be doing today? Because I got rid of all that. Oh, I shouldn't be saying today, actually. This is probably just instantly right after you guys. Yeah, for you guys, the break last time, the, I feel like just a few minutes ago, it actually, uh, ended up being like an entire day for me. I just, it's, it's a complete new day for me. Uh, and I completely forgot that I don't do uh, daily episodes anymore. I do weekly ones. So, just because I don't have time to do daily anymore. So, yeah, never mind then. Let's just move on then, shall we? But yes, we will be moving on to the pit now. We got Jack through different means than expected. Um, we have gotten our disintegrator, a bit more ammo for our disintegrator, which is like our go-to primary weapon. The game is loading. All right, the game does look a little bit brighter than usually is. Let's see though, if it's just my screen. It's definitely my screen, right? My TV is... I think that's like the most accurate I'll get it. A little bit more green on my TV, on my computer screen. It's a little bit more less green. But you know what, whatever. Whatever works for me, as long as I can see what I'm doing. Anyways, yes, yeah, so I'm having issues that you guys can't see any of that. None of you guys can see any of that. So I'm, 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 I'm recording on uh, my TV screen right now. And did everything just get really dark for some reason? What the hell? My TV like automatically adjusting, according what I do? A moment. No, no, it's not. It's just... It just looks weird. The heck that I have it sense said to before I started doing all this. Let's make it cinematic. Let's set it to cinema. Why not? I'm an idiot. Oh, hell yeah, I know. Cinema makes it look exactly like what it's supposed to look like. Hey, David Computer, you don't know the difference between a game and a cinema movie? No. Anyways, this, this looks good. This is okay. Um, anyways... Let's uh, move on to our next sub uh, secondary DLC, the pit, which is all the way up to the northern part there. Thankfully, we have MDAPL21 power stations set up, which I didn't actually plan for, but whatever, it works out. Okay, everything's getting dark because of the freaking smoke, right? I heard that. Is that a death claw? There's so many death claws everywhere. What the hell? Hit him from here. I mean, I could try. Put him up. Hit him? Definitely did not. Now he's gonna make his way here, then I'll really easily hit him. But yeah, now. I do like this weather mod. Lagging my game a bit, apparently, but I do like it. Stop moving so erratically. I hate Death Claws when they do it because he moves so randomly. See, he's randomly taking steps to the left and to the right to get to me, and it's really weird. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, uh, uh, 
Uh, I found the world's most dangerous death claw, I think. Oh no. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> what the hell of a death claw? <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell? Can I hit it from here? I can attempt to do so. Oh, not anymore, no. Oh my god, it's gonna hit it. I actually hit it, that's pretty funny. <laughs> it's not what's gonna hit. <laughs> oh, this is great. Did he actually injure? No, I didn't actually hit him in the end. We'll get him eventually, guys. This is the world's f most overpowered death claw. Freaking hell, this thing was fast. Darshes don't move fast enough, they just end up never colliding because they're never moving fast enough to hit them. I have to hit it. If any weapon that would kill this death claw is going to be my goddamn vengeance. Where is it? Fall out. Never stop being you. I think it's gone now. It's not coming back down. Looking for it, but uh. Yeah. Okay, then, Fallout. We'll let you just keep doing you. Let's just move on with our lives now, shall we? That was great. I really wish I could killed it, but whatever. Oh, enforcer. I have the Enforcer Gauntlets equipped just because why not? <laughs> they look cool. Man, does it ever get dark. I do like it though, I do like how it gets dark, but you know, I'm probably gonna have to hide out here for a bit and wait for it to be a little bit later in the day, where it's brighter, even when it's raining. It's getting a little bit late. I do like that though, it actually adds a little bit of a nice little immersion where it's like, okay, it's nighttime, it's hard to see, it's hard to travel, let's just wait until morning, where it gets a little bit brighter, like this. You can see again. Deathclaw chasing me now. Is it, is it still glitching out? I can't see it from here, probably. Oh shit, I didn't mean to shoot. I just alerted everything in the nearby area to my presence, but that's fine. That is fine. But it's still killing me. Oh god, rats. Okay. Oh god, more rats. Even more rats. The hell am I, where the hell am I going? Why is this here? Hello. A dog attacking a hunter. Go, oh, vicious dog. Go. You can do this. Good job, vicious dog. I get to loot the body without any negative morale. Uh, yeah, nothing good on him, but I mean, also dog. Uh, dog's fine. The heck was this to? Why is this just in the middle of nowhere? Just like a random. Person hunter fighting a dog in the middle of a cave in the middle of nothing. What the heck? Whatever. And I really think that randomly, some water won't explode, but some water will. You walk through it while running. It's it's very strange. I'm still trying to get to what's his face. Oh, uh, maybe this way. So maybe lead me up. Never seen this path before, so I have no idea where I'm going. Pretty much just hiking at this point. Lots of randomly destroyed cars here for some reason. Hmm. Oh god, stuttering. God, fall out. 
I've been sprinting everywhere, but god. Oh, pit raiders. Okay. Hey. Oh, hello. Who are they attacking? Oh, Werner. Oh, these guys are aggressive towards me. Oh, well then, they made a really bad, they made a terrible mistake. Somebody else, Warner. No, I'm fine. Hey, Thank you doing? for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? I really feel like saying this. But I feel like just the reward is more fitting for my character. Well, look at you, money bags. Right down to business. Gotta respect that. But before you get anything, what I need you to do is to take a trip with me to a place called The Pit. It's a city to the northwest of here, a long way away. I want you to come with me and help me steal something that will free my people. Uh, Did you escape or something? Yeah. That's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. Cure for what? The pit is a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air. You can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get to you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have the cure perfected, we stand no chance. So we get the cure. With it, we turn the tables on them. Uh, why can't you do it? They know that I know about the cure. All of them will be looking for me by now. That's why those guys came all the way here. I came here because I needed an outsider. Someone like you who has the strength to pull off what I need. And what's your goal? The city is controlled by a man named Dasher. He's powerful. No one there dares go against him. No one except me. I need you to sneak into the pit and find a way to get close enough to him to steal the cure. Nothing to it, right? What do we need to do first, then? Well, you might try a disguise. They probably <clears throat> won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Uh, I don't need this guy. I'll find a way in. Well, that's not the best idea, but at this point I'm pretty much out of options. So if that's how it has to be. Alright, so he does give you that. Did I still get the... Uh... Talk to him to get the location of the disguise. Get what supplies you need and meet me at the tunnel. I'll meet you at the tunnel. Oh, you can't go back to him and go, you know what? Maybe a disguise would work. We're not allowed doing that, so I just don't know where they are now. Oh, that's disappointing a bit. Oh, well, that's fine. Basically, you just go to a certain little place, talk to a guy, and go, hey, uh, I'm going to take these slaves. And then you just pay for it and you just take the slaves. And I mean, like, sure, that's a thing you can do, but at the end of the day, it's actually not worth doing. Is it doesn't give you anything, you'll see what I mean later. You know, you get nothing from doing it other than saving a few slaves, and I don't care about the slaves, so. Hello, who are you? What do you need? I can get your fix. Anything you want. Cheap. Sure, sure. Oh, so you're just a guy with a bunch of jugs. Okay. Uh, I'll take your psycho. Your Radex, your Stimpaks, and your Medex, please. I know, I'll just take all of them. Drugs are good. Drugs work well in this game. And I can actually sell you things now because of that. Uh, I don't really have much to sell. I'm pretty sure I put everything I could sell away. So, I have pre-war money. I can do that. Uh, nothing else. Let's see. 0.44. Do I use that? I don't think I... I don't use 0.32k. Let's look at weapons again. So, Alien, Power Module, 5, 6, Shell, Dart... 
Yeah, like I actually don't use like most normal weapon uh, modes of weapon uh, ammunition now. But um, point thirty two, I know for for really damn. I don't remember what I don't use. I don't. Uh, let's see here. I'll use what I know for a fact. I don't use like five millimeter. I don't use that anymore. Right? Those are the, yeah. That's the one for the miniguns. Um, single energy cell here for some reason. I'm not sure why it's just on its own, but I'll get rid of it. Flamer fuel I'll never use. Mesmertron power cells never use that. Uh, mini nukes, as powerful as they are, I never use them. Missiles I don't use them. Railway spikes I won't use them. Uh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> now I need to get back stuff that can't afford to take. Uh, my god, man, you're poor. Okay, there you go. Uh, missile. Give him three of these. And then give you... Let's see, ten of these would be six caps, so nine? Yeah, that's good enough, whatever. Thanks. You got a bunch of ammunition. Go find your weapons and go kill people. I have now created a monster for the wasteland. I am proud of this. Oh, hey, Albino Red Scorpion. Correct? Yes. That's actually scary. What am, why am I happy to see that? Um, Albino Red Scorpion is one of the three toughest enemies in the game. They're on par with the Super Mutant Overlords and uh, the Varagul Reavers. Okay, well I shouldn't say on par, because, you know, super mutant overlords are way more powerful than even reavers or albino red scorpions. But they still do, I think, 100 damage per hit, plus 20 damage of poison damage every second, and or something like that. And they also have, like, a lot of health. They're the tankiest one of the three of them. Hey, how you doing? You look absolutely terrifying. Let's completely and utterly destroy you. There you go. It's a bit though. They're they're really tanky. But you do have four poison glands, which I will actually take. That's just a bunch of free dark guns. And it's raining again. Man, it's just been some gloomy weather lately. Also, it's really stuttering a lot. I'm not sure why, but my laptop is stuttering right now. Maybe it's just the game not built to handle the sheer amount of mods that I have on it right now. That's fine. The weather does tend to get and then make the game stutter a bit. I'm able to make a true judgment of my computer when I start playing bigger games. I mean, I've been playing games like Friday the 13th and maxed it, uh, well, not maxed out, but on the high settings. Not the epic, epic but it's the high settings and it's been working, so. Hello? Oh, hey, the slavers, never mind. Did actually bring me to the tunnel entrance. Okay. Okay, I'm killing these people after. I'll just kill you. Oh, I knew not to trust you, pit bastards. Hey. Alright, you're dead. <clears throat> really? Stop moving. Thank you. That's a shooting me. Ooh. Oh, you guys. I didn't realize you guys were actually pit slavers as well. Or just slavers, not pit slavers. The wasteland slavers. This game is loud. Let's put the weather down. The weather volume down if I can. Uh, settings, audio, the effects. That down a bit just because it's a little loud. The voice is up. Voices are fine. Just to master volume in general, let's bring that down just a little bit. Just a smidgen. So it's not as ridiculously over the top. Can I not do this? Oh, I can. I mean, it's experience, but I only have nine bobby pins. I'd rather not. Come on, guys. I gotta eat this guy here. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see me do it. That's fine. Alright, assholes. 
Need your suits. Thank you. Wait, who's alive? No, you don't. All right. That works. <laughs> uh, I remember at one point I thought I'd actually try to be a little bit nicer. And this all happened. <laughs> Why am I, I'm stealing from slavers. Why is this considered evil? Oh, it's not. All right, cool. Sleep for an hour. I'm gonna get, get rid of this goddamn wetter. There it goes. Thank God for that. Okay. Just wait for it to go away. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh, let's listen to the radio real quick. I just want to see if there's a. Um, let's see. Hello, Capital Wasteland. This is Three Dog. Ow! Coming to you loud and proud from Galaxy News Radio. Everyone ready for the Capital Wasteland's latest news? Me neither, but it's that time again. You think you're sad now, children? Just wait till you hear the latest on the Capital Wasteland's very own bringer of sorrow. Do the crying. Who says you can't go home again, huh? The kid from Vault 101 did. But it looks like the prodigal daughter's return didn't last all that long. She was seen coming out of the vault again and headed God knows where. Don't let that revolving door hit you on the ass on the way out. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. All right, so yep, that's a thing. So that was just him pointing out the fact that I went into the vault and came back out. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Werner, Werner, you're here. You're here you are. Just jump on the cart. I'm on the cart. Uh, oh, you wanted me to actually? Uh, God. Okay. Uh, right. Once you go, you can't come back. So let's save first, just to make sure. Always save before you uh, go into a DLC. You never know. Go to the pit. 